one of the most important things you can do is to trademark your own personal name. In this video, I'm going to show you why, how, and the one catch that will prevent you from doing that. Okay, so here we go. Three reasons why it's very important and vital for you to protect your own name with a trademark. So think about it this way. Don Crowther is a trademark. I'm the only person in the United States who can use that for business purposes to for internet marketing products. And you want to do that yourself for your particular area. So number one, it protects you against trolls and cyber squatters. So there are people out there who make their living buying Don Crowther sucks. Don Crowther's horrible. Don't buy Don Crowther. Those kinds of things. Well, anyone who buys that domain, I can turn them off because I own Don Crowther as a trademark. And so I can legally force them to take it down. And if they won't take it down, I can legally go to Google and have Google take them down because they're violating my trademark in their work. Okay. So it protects you against the trolls and the cyber squatters. Another second, it's another layer of legal protection for things like people who steal your product. So if someone steals your product and is selling your product and they're using your name, your name enables you to go after them, not only for copyright, but for trademark too. You've got two, it gives you yet another angle to be able to go after someone and get them out of the marketplace. That second level of protection is yet another layer of value for you. Third one, hey, it's pretty important. That circle R, it just looks so cool by your name. Couldn't think of three reasons, but this one's a cool name, reason. Okay, so now let's talk about what the requirements for you to be able to do with that. And this is where the, where the piece comes in of the one thing that may keep you from being able to do this. First one, you must be using your name for business purposes. So if your website is Don Crowther, for in, in my case, is doncrowther.com, that's perfect because I'm protecting that piece and I'm sh I can show that my name is being used in, in commercial uh, interstate commerce. If your website is thedream.com, you're going to fight against that a bit more. You still can do it. You just have to show that your name is connected to that interstate commerce, but it also your, your protection's not quite as valuable because the thing you really want to protect is the dream.com, not necessarily your name, but I still would consider doing it. Secondly, and this is the part that could get you, your name must be fairly unique. Okay. So I could get Don Crowther, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, can't even say the guy's name, can trademark his, he has, um, Michael Jordan, because his name is so common, his name isn't trademarked. What his trademark is Michael Jordan 23, because that's that was his number on, on his jersey. And so if your name is Tom Jones, or if someone like there's a famous art uh, actor or somebody like that, that already has your name, you're probably not gonna be able to get that trademark. And so that's the one catch is you may just have not lucked into having a somewhat unique name to be able to do that. I would certainly talk to an attorney about it. And then the third thing is it has to not be being used by others in your area of trade. And so in mine of internet marketing training, there's no one else by the name of Don Crowther who was using it when I applied for that trademark. So I was able to get that trademark. All right. Now recognize that trademarks are done by classes of trade. And so I got, got it for internet marketing training. I also have it for internet marketing audios and audio, audio recordings. Now, if you were in weight loss training, there's probably a category around that. That's where you would want. So you want to select the categories where you want your name to be protected. So technically somebody could come out with Don Crowther and use that in weight loss training without me being able to go after them because my trademark is only for the internet marketing training world. And so you need to recognize that each time you add, you can add multiple different areas these 
to to have your trademark work in those. The challenge is that when you do every time you do that, it you have to buy a new trademark for every one of those, so which means you have to renew a trademark every one in every one of those, which gives you additional costs as you go along. So only sl- uh, select the classes where you actually plan on on competing over time. Um, now, how do you go about getting a trademark? There are lots of different trademark help options out there. You Google, get a trademark, and you're going to find $49 offers, $59 offers. Be aware, those $49 offers are going to try to get you to pay $500 for something in that process. And so, it, very frankly, my recommendation is, hey, just go get a lawyer. <laughs> get a trademark lawyer. Pay him some extra. I think I paid $1,400 to get trademarks in two different classes. And... It, it's totally been worth it. I've now renewed them like three times. And so you have to renew them over time. Uh, holding a trademark once doesn't give it to you forever. It gives you for a, for a period of a certain period, a short period of years. And then they come back and verify you're actually using it. And then you get them for chunks of time after that. And, and you go on, I can't even remember. I think it's seven years, but I'm not hundred percent sure of that. My recommendation is you go do this now. So why? Because other people may be coming in and may be smart enough to do this. It's really just a good thing to start now. You have to be in using in, it in commerce right now, but go ahead, start that process, get your name out there, get it, start using in commerce, start selling something and go get it trademarked. That's, that's a strong recommendation that I have. And I strongly encourage you to do so. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm-hmm.